Hi, hi, hi. I am so glad that you are here. We are trekking through the Psalms together and this journey has been epic to say the least. Already so many things have happened already. God through the Psalms has shown us his heart, his character. It is an amazing, an amazing journey. But what's most incredible too, aside from already all that he provides through it, that he gives us this cherry on top where we begin to see ourselves as he sees us, where we begin to discover things about ourselves that we had no idea, we didn't know. And as we trek through the word of God, as we allow it to do that it wor the work that it needs to do inside of us, the work that is necessary, oh my goodness, the transformations that happen piece by piece, little by little, year after year, month after month, and even day by day. So this morning, I was looking for my charger. I go crazy looking for things. I'm always losing things. And if you're a friend of mine, you know. If you're a family member, you know. I lose things, I misplace things, and then I, I'm a wreck looking for them. So I was looking for my charger this morning, realized I left it at my desk at work. So I had this long charger that a friend of mine had bought me and this long charger is like five feet long. I don't know what it was It was made for, I guess for being in the vehicle or in different places. But the thing about this charger, because it is so long from the source, it takes a lot longer. So what would have taken me half the time definitely or just a few minutes took me almost an hour to charge up my phone, not even half of its capacity. And I thought about that and Holy Spirit quickened me and said, Gio, when you come far from the presence of God, when you step away from his word, when you step away from his will, when anybody does that, guess what? The further you step away, the longer things take in your life to be accomplished in the way God desires for them to be accomplished. The, the further you are, from the source, from the true source of your life and your strength, guess what? <laughs> the further you are from power, from the energy, from the strength, from everything that you need to keep going. And something that should have taken just a quick time when you get to the feet of Jesus, when you go to the source, when you go to his presence and he fills you and he instructs you and he gives you, equips you, just like that, it takes so much longer when you pull away, when you're far away from Him. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. Don't ever stray so far from His presence that you miss, miss God in the things He wants to do in your life. That is why we have to plug into the source right here. There are no shortcuts. There's no long cord to it. It is right here, getting in the thick of it, getting it right here in your face, being right before God and seeking him every day, every day. Someone told me um, last week, hey, manna was fresh, fresh every day. Every day they had to go and seek it out. They couldn't hoard it. And they talked about maggots in the manna and how if we don't put this word inside of us and if we think, oh, we can store up this word and maybe a year from now, we don't have to read it every day. We don't have to come to God every day. We don't have to use it every day. Guess what? There's going to be maggots in the stuff that you thought you could store up from a, a year ago sermon or something you read or something you saw on Instagram, a verse you saw on Instagram a few days ago and you're using not to sustain you oh no oh no do not be mistaken it is very important that we get to the source every day every day and I'm here to help you every Thursday let's get in it right so here we are chapter 36 of the Psalms let's see what David has to share now David reveals his heart through the Psalms may you be willing to reveal your heart to God and pour it all out when you pray to him David shows us that. He gives us an example of that over and over again, and it's quite beautiful. Let's look at this, Psalms 36. If you have your Bible, take it out. Get, let your fingers dance upon the pages. Let your eyes see it. Get all your senses. Read it out loud. Whatever you have to do to get all your senses involved. If you can't do that right now, I understand. Let the words that I read 
May they penetrate your soul. May they wash your mind. May they clear out any bitterness, any unforgiveness. In Jesus' name, let's get to it. By the way, I'm Gio, and this is Unraveled Hearts Ministries. We get unraveled through God's Word. I'm so glad you are here. Keep trekking along with us. Psalms 36. Sin whispers to the wicked deep within their hearts. They have no fear of God at all. In their blind conceit, they cannot see how wicked they really are. Everything they say is crooked and deceitful. They refuse to act wisely or do good. They lie awake at night, hatching sinful plots. Their actions are never good. They make no attempt to turn from evil. Your unfailing love, O Lord, is as vast as the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches beyond the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains. Your justice like the ocean depths. You care for people and animals alike, O Lord. How precious is your unfailing love, O God. All humanity finds their shelter in the shadow of your wings. You feed them from the abundance of your own house, letting them drink from the river of delights. For you are the fountain of life, the light by which we see. Pour out your unfailing love on those who love you. Give justice to those with honest hearts. Don't let the proud trample me or the wicked push me around. Look, those who do, do evil have fallen. They are thrown down never to rise again. Wow. Doesn't, doesn't this give you a powerful view of two, he ju it's a juxtaposition of two different individuals, two different people seeking to do evil, people seeking to do wicked, and then those who love God, who love God. And we can look at this and go, oh, the wicked, the evil, oh, that's horrible. I would never do that. But these are people who are not walking with God. They are walking in darkness. And that didn't happen overnight. That happened throughout their life. We make decisions, we make choices, and we can slowly drift away from the presence of God, slowly drift away from the light, from his counsel, and guess what? Then our thoughts become our own, and our thoughts are wicked. Our heart is wicked, and it can easily lead us astray far from his will, and we become enemies of God. We have to watch out for that and guard our hearts and be careful and know that God is is with us through the heart, through the attacks, through the trials, through everything. He is with us. He, he is the everlasting love. He is the fountain of life. He has so much to give us and he desires to give us good things because we are his children. So let's plug in to the source this week, won't you? Won't you just press in to Jesus? Won't you allow him to tap into you, to give you that energy, that light, that source, that, that beautiful, beautiful counsel, wisdom, and love that comes only from him? Yeah, be plugged in. Do not use, do not be far away from him. Do not get away from his presence. Press into Jesus. If this sounds really strange to you, what I'm saying, press into Jesus, it's maybe because you haven't encountered him. You haven't encountered Jesus. He is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. He is the Son of God. And he came to earth with a body, with a shell, to show us his love. He died a death and he paid a price we could not pay. And he desires you. He did all of that to reach you, to make a way where there seemed to be no way. All you have to do is step into that belief. Believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that he died for you, that he bled for you. He will give you a new heart. You will become a new creation. He will fill you up with Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God inside of you. And then you become a child of God. And God puts a robe on your back and a ring on your finger because he loves you. He has always desired you to be his. 
but he made a way through Jesus. I pray that you make Jesus the Lord of your life today. Just call his name. He will meet you where you are at. He will come to your mess. Trust me, from a messy person, I uh, am a mess most of the time. I can't find my things. I was looking for my glasses. I was looking for my glasses this morning. I got in the shower, I'm looking for my glasses, and I passed through them over and over again. Sometimes we don't see the things that are right there because we lack vision. We lack vision, so I'm praying that your vision is intact, that you set your eyes on Jesus and don't miss what's right in front of you. Hallelujah. Have a great Thursday. I love you.